you guys need any cards, packs, sleeves, anything of that nature, shop on TCG Player using my affiliate link in the description. Alright, so in my latest video where I talked about decks that I absolutely refuse to play, I featured this abomination. Uh, it's kind of like Malefic Skill Drain, but in Edison format. Um, so we've got Blue Eyes, which I didn't even know we had this card, by the way. Uh, Edison format is in, like, April 2010, and in America, the, like, Bonds Beyond Time movie where these Malefic cards were, were in, it didn't come out till like, 2011, to like, a year after Edison format. So it's super perplexing to me that this card was even out at this time, but apparently it was. So this is actually just something you could do. You could throw the trade-ins in with the Gear Towns and the Barbaros and kind of play this toxic uh, stun pile malefic skill drain thing. I don't really particularly think it's a, a good deck in Edison format, um, but it's like kind of neat, you know? You got some draw power going on. You've got the Royal Tribute Turbo aspect. You've got Skill Drain, which is good against a lot of decks, even if it's not good against the best two in the format. But um, the deck just kind of looked sort of silly and fun, and I wanted to try it out. So that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, interesting hand we have here. Thunder King kind of floodgates a lot of our cards, so I'm wondering if we should maybe use them straight away. Um... Hmm, what do we want to do? We could just end on some really toxic board, right? Probably. So we can grab... Let's use the terraforming. Use this. Then get Necro Valley. And go set you... Set... Yeah, let's just, like, slap all our cards on the field, actually. Just all of them. Just, just summon everything. Why not? What could go wrong? Cyber Dragon, that's not real. We have we have outs, it's fine. Boom. Our entire hand has been has been put on the board on turn one. Good luck, opponent. This is probably a terrible idea, but we've done it anyway. They can't activate this. And now we know about it, which is cool, I guess. Uh, everyone always forgets the Thunder King effect. Okay. Mm, yeah, let's just compulse that. And we don't have 8k on board, which is kind of bad, I guess. Draw another Thunder King. Center battle phase. I think we should just hit for 6k, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, it's probably good to play around Mirror Force, I think. And this time, I think we let the Lila take out our Necro Valley, if that's what he wants to do. The Necro Valley is just not that good, you know? <laughs> So I don't know if it's really worth protecting. All right, opponent's setting a monster. Here, I think we just go for it. So it's summon Thunder King Ryo. And they're going to admit defeat. All right, we've done it. We've done it in game one with the slap our whole hand on the board strategy. That's generally not a good way to play, but... <laughs> you know what? I, I saw that opening hand, it was just like... Yeah, that's what I got to do, right? I mean... That's just that's just how it's got to be, so. I think we made the probably correct play. Now, game two is probably going to be some hate. Maybe uh, Decree's brought in if it is indeed Lightsworn. Although we don't exactly, exactly know that for sure. It could be... It's just on, like, what? Charge Lila, Unknown Background. That's all we saw. We hardly saw anything. Hardly saw anything. I just realized I'm not playing Fortress in my extra. Probably should. It could come up. It could easily come up if the opponent has Cyber Dragon on the field. This hand is... It's something. I mean, it's not good. Alright, they're on recharge, so it's full on some kind of Light Sworn build. Alright, looks like the one I played in yesterday's video, actually. That's neat. Trooper... Yeah, that's pretty good. Pass. 
All right, I think we go terraforming. Get you. And then we want to activate trade in. No, no, no. We want to command it. Then we want to activate trade in. Or upstart, what am I talking about? We can't activate trade in. All right, another upstart for the opponent. And that just draws us a second Necro Valley, which is not very good at all. This time I'm only going to commit one Gadgetron. I want to preserve. I want to play around Cyber Dragon, most importantly. And then also I want to uh, keep the most number of level 8s in deck for the trade in. So we're just going to set Solve and we're going to pass. Is JD live? I don't think so, right? No. Um, yeah, we have to solve that. That's just a little bit too good, I think. No, maybe I should have let it go, actually. Eh, there's a serious argument to just let that go, I think. I guess Ancient Fairy is just, like, unoutable for us, though, is the thing. It's just, like, we don't do anything there. Um... We're going to have to activate Necro Valley next turn. There's just no getting around it, because now we know there's a debris in hand. So I guess this isn't the times two build exactly, because it's got debris dragon. We draw Malefic Blue Eyes, which we could summon, but I think I would rather convert this trade in right now. We're going to get the other Gadgetron out of deck first. And then we're going to trade in. Draw one, draw two. We draw into Road Thunder King, which are some nice pickups, actually. Uh, so let's do this. I'm going to play around Gores. Let's play around Gores. It would still be bad to lose the Thunder King to a Gores or a Trag, but it's not like game-endingly shit. Okay. We're feeling pretty solid here. They can't do the Debris Black Rose play because of like three different things. Um, they can't summon JD, it's not even live. Right, they just set a monster and they pass. And that's a Malefic Blue-Eyes White Dragon that I'm going to summon. And then I think we want to attack with Thunder King first. So we're going to do that. Alright, they have Dandy Tokens. Now, it would be bad if he had Gores here because... Gores effectively walls our entire fucking field. <laughs> it wouldn't be good. It would not be good. Uh, wait. This thing... Wait, wait, wait. I forgot to read... Blue Eyes. So you just have two tokens. Okay. I shouldn't have summoned that then. That was stupid. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. He needs to gain 3k, too. Man, that was so dumb. <laughs> I didn't even think I just slapped my card on the field. Although, that's kind of... it's kind of what this deck's about, isn't it? Now, what do I need to do? I need to, like, draw Barbados. Yeah, that would be really good. Or, or uh, Skill Drain, I guess, kind of would be very good. Although we've kind of illegally gained info that he did have Gores, but we we're pretty sure he didn't have it because he probably would have dropped it just out the Thunder King. Oh, well, I knew it was a mistake to play Malefic cards. These things have, like, a bunch of text on them. Okay, he's going to summon Drunk Sinker on. I think we have to... We have to Thunder King a Catastrophe here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that. I guess he did this because he has Honest in hand. Yeah, that just has to be it, right? Alright, the opponent just scoops. I mean, you're only taking 3k next turn. What would I have drawn off Upstart? Maybe they just can't see a situation where they play under Necrovalley with their deck or something? I'm not really sure. 
We did have some good field established, but dropping this Malefic Blue Eyes like handicapped my ability to actually pressure, so I'm not really sure. But anyway, we had some good games, I guess. We managed to go 2-0, so that was neat. Anyway, kind of a kind of a pre-matchup though, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comments section. I'll see you next time. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.